Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have seen the status elements that is progress bar, spinners, etc. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the media elements. Media elements are something like the displaying the images, videos, audio files, etc. directly into the Streamlit app. Okay, so let's get started. Before that, what you have to do is you need to download the media in from the resources that is some audio files and the images and the words and uh, some video if at all you can also use your own files all right so let's get started by creating a new file and name it as media underscore elements dot pi obviously the first step what you have to do is we need to import streamlit as st okay the first step what we're going to do is that we're going to display the image so I'm having the image with me which is in the media folder and this is the image I'm going to display into my web app okay for that let me create st dot some uh, header and this is the display image using st dot image so I can straight away use the module that is st dot image using that we can simply upload the image okay so st.image and here I need to pass the path of the image the path of the image is in my media folder and the name of the image is image.jpg that's it with that I can able to display my image into my app let's see that for that go to terminal and um, run the app it is streamlit run and the name of the file is media element dot pi all right my app is running now and this is my app and here you go you can see that we can display the image using st dot image and this is what the image i'm going to display here cool right and we can also add some captions to the image saying that uh, we can do that and the image itself we have the caption uh, this is the caption and um, so this is the caption let me write the some caption as beautiful city okay beautiful city now let me save this and go back to my app and rerun my application and here you go you can see that the beautiful city text is there you can you can even adjust the height and width of the image and it is auto adjusted what you can do is uh, we can simply uh set the width suppose i'm going to set the width to 500 and this will also set the width to 500 read on my application and it will set the width to 500 and automatically my height is auto set so this is how we can display our images you can also display the videos in order to display the video i'm already had the video with me which is waterfalls.mp4 let me use this and let's add this header and this is display videos for displaying the videos the first step what you have to do is we need to read the video in bytes let's do that first one is video file is equal to open we need to open the video and just just set the path which is in the media folder and the name of the video file it is waterfalls.mp4 now we can set the mode to read in bytes now video bytes equal to just convert read this file and just read so this is what you'll get the video in bytes now you can use st dot video and pass the data nothing but video bytes to this and this will basically read the video in bytes let me go back to my app and read my application and here you go you can display the video and you can play this and this is how we can play and even you can maximize my video and everything you can do here cool right this is how we can play our video into our app. 
all right the next kind of media element that we can able to display in the streamlit app is uh, audio okay let's display the audio here display audio or play audio okay st dot header and this is my display audio so so in order to display the audio just like the media file we have to uh, load the we have to we have to read the audio file in bytes and that need to be passed to the st.audio okay let's use this first one we need to set the audio file equal to we need to open the audio file and the audio file that was there is the audio.mp3 which is in my media folder slash audio dot mp3 and the mode of operation is read in mites next we will read the audio file audio underscore bytes equal to audio underscore file dot read that's it now let's display the audio file into our app using st.audio and here we need to set the data data is nothing but uh, audio underscore byte next you can set the what are the format you want by default the format is audio wave and uh, it's for the good thing for the lightweight we can set the format to audio slash ogg okay now save it let's go back to our app and here you go this is my app and read on our app and we can display our audio here you can notice that we have audio is there and you can even play our audio cool so this is how we can able to display our audio and stream it also we can also play our video okay anyway cool so this is how we can able to display our image video and audio in the next lesson, we will talk more on this. Until then, happy learning.